last week. I caught up with a few of them and obtained some shocking moments captured on camera. Take a good look at your screen. This footage was captured by Dago Snacks just before 5 a.m. last Friday. In it, you can see at least two masked people breaking into the restaurant in Sheridan Park, even attempting to steal an ATM. Honestly, uh, since they get in uh, inside our business, our life is changed. They don't be arrested yet, so a little bit scary. Dagoberto shares his storefront space with friend Daniel Cruz, who owns Daniel's ER Spot. Cruz works on iPhones, desktops, data recovery, and more. And he says he slept feeling uneasy following the break-in. Just have my, my newborn baby, and I, I'm trying to build something for him. So yeah. uh, something you know, we have to pay for everything. And, you just wake up and you uh, realize that someone has taken everything away, everything you have worked for like four years. Luckily, the thieves were unsuccessful in their attempt to take the ATM, but Berto says they did get away with his laptop full of important business information. It was something that was taken away for someone that didn't work for it. According to the police report, several other businesses were targeted, including Fancy Nails, River Road Cafe, and Merle Norman Cosmetics. The owner of Merle Norman tells WJCL no products were taken from her business, but the thieves did take about $2,000 from her cash register. While several owners are now spending their time and money to beef up security measures, they say they're left rattled in a town where they once felt safe. It's something that I didn't know that is going to happen to me one day, and I thought that Bluffton is like a really secure area because I moved here, and now I feel like kind of like less secure. If you know anything about the break-ins at Sheridan you're asked to call Bluffton Police at 843-706-4550. Well, the city of Savannah is one step closer